However, in terms of the blue light from our devices being the the catastrophic force on sleep decline that we used to think it was, mm. is probably not true. So if you're on your phone at night or if you're on your computer. Blue light is not the villain that we thought. Uh, so you shouldn't be buying those blue blocker glasses or... It, there's been a great, um, there's been a guy um, in Australia almost pioneered this, um, Michael Gradazar. He started to get skeptical of this whole blue light thing. And there's been a couple of powerful studies that, yes, it definitely blocks your melatonin. Yes, it can disrupt your sleep. But what he demonstrated is that it's not the blue light itself. It's that these devices that we use that emit blue light. That's what we're reading on them. <laughs> are activating. You buy the red light thing and the- Yeah, the, the data there is quite light. strong on melatonin. However, in terms of the blue light from our devices being the, the catastrophic force on sleep decline that we used to think it was, mm. is probably not true. So if you're on your phone at night or if you're on your computer. Blue light is not the villain that we thought.